say something like 1,249, 1,249. In short, I might say 1,249, but if I were to read it completely, I would say 1,249. and a 
zero in the ones place, you see, conceptually we are regrouping, so every time I have ten ones, instead of putting the digit ten there, that doesn't even make sense, right, and it, it's kind of strange to think about that way, but instead of putting a number in the ones place, I regroup those ten ones, and put one in the tens place, and zero in the ones place, and then once I have ten tens, I put one in the 100s place instead of putting a little 10 there and put zero, zero. That's why we have one, zero, zero for 100. So in general, when we have base n, if we have base of another number n, whatever n is, two, three, four, five, six, whatever, uh, our digits, our digits so to speak, our values here will go from 0 to 1 less than that, 1 less than that, n minus 1, because once we hit n, we would then regroup and go to the next slot, the next place, so we can generalize that. So, let's see here, let's now take a look then at a cool little thing called binary, 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 which means base to many applications here in computer science, base to. So let's just generalize what we did for base 10 and just extrapolate for this case. So, what does this mean? Well, for base 2, our digits are going to be from 0 to 2 minus 1, which is actually just 1 inclusive. And all that means is our digits in binary are either going to be 0 or 1. 0 or 1. So, there is no such thing as 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, whatever else in binary. You won't see the number 4. So, what do you see though? You can represent our decimal numbers in terms of binary. So, let's set up a little reference thing like we did here for 10s, but now let's do it for 2s. Again, our first lot is going to be the 1's place, but we are going to, instead of representing it as 10 to the 0, we are going to represent it as 2 to the 0. The next slot is going to be the 2's place, the 2's place, because it's 2 to the power of 1. So then, what would the next slot be? There's going to be a lot more slots. The next slot is going to be 2 to the power of 2, which is 2 times 2, which is 4. And then you times another 2 to that, so that's going to be 8, 16, 32, 64. How high can you go? How high can you go? So, So this will give 
us a chance to look at how to go from a base 10 number to binary, okay? So when we go from um, base 10 to binary, what we do is we actually start from the largest place and move down progressively. Kind of like when we read out the number, we say 1,249. We don't go the other way. We don't go 9 and 40 and 200 and 1,000. We go the other way when we are trying to break down the number. So what we do is we go through this chart mentally. So let's add one more place for this. So let's just do... 2 times this is 128 just for the sake of example here so this would be 2 to the 7th and we go as far as we need so the thing is our number is 101 and so we don't need anything in the 128 right? 128 is bigger than 101 so the first slot that we can fill with the one is actually 64. So we have a one for the 64. And so that's kind of like when we have base 10, you don't read out, you know, zero, zero, 10,000, and 1,002. You don't care about all the zeros in front because, well, the zeros would keep going. So you don't need this anymore. So we have 164, so I'm going to subtract out a 64 from my 101, 101, minus 64 is 37. So I see, okay, I have to fill out 37, so let's take the next slot. The next slot is the 32's place. Can I pull out a 32 from 37? Yes, I can, right? Minus, subtract. So I have a 1 in the 32's, and that leaves me with, we can do this, but I'm going to use my cute calculator instead. <laughs> 5, 5, okay, so I have 5 remaining. So then you continue. The next slot over is the 16's place, but 16 is larger than 5, so I put a 0. 8 is also bigger than 5, so I put a 0. But I do have a 4 within this, so I can subtract a 4. So subtract a 4, that gives me 1. So I don't have a 2, because 2 is bigger than 1. One final one. So if we did our math correctly here, the string 1100101 in binary is equivalent to the number 101 in base 10. So in binary, the strings are tend to be much longer, and it's just a bunch of zeros and ones. So this would be 110010. <laughs> so if you want to go the other way, if I say this is base 2 or binary, and I asked you what is that in base 10, what you do is you put these values in. So this is the 1s place, the 2s, 4s, 8, 16, 32, 64, and you can add back this way. So typically when you're going from base 2 back to base 10, you work this way. So this one is a value of uh, one's place, two's four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, and sixty-four. So we add those. One plus four plus thirty-two plus sixty-four is one zero one. So one one zero zero one zero one is binary for 101 in base 10. Okay. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, cool, cool. So, here's another 
course you can play around with this base 3, base 4, base 5, whatever you just do, you know, 3 to the 0, 3 to the 1, 3 squared, 3 cubed so the values of each place depends on what base you are in now, I'm going to introduce something pretty wild and it also has applications in computer science uh, base 8 is also actually something used, but we are going to play around with the idea of base 16. This is so wild to me. Base 16, also known as, do you know, hexadecimal, hexadecimal. Now, we can generalize with everything that we just did here. So there's nothing new, but there is something really interesting that happens. So let's create our little um, places. So we have the ones place, the which is going to be 16 to the 0. The next place is going to be 16 to the 1, so the 16's place. The next place is going to be 16 squared, which is 16 times 16. Which, if you want to review your perfect squares, you can check out that sleepy video. It's 256, but we can confirm that here. 16 times 16 is 256 place. And then the next one is 16 cubed. So this gets really big, really fast, right? So 16 cubed is going to be times another 16, which is 4,096. Sis, place <laughs> times another 16. We'll just do one more. It's getting ridiculous. 65,500 and what is it? 65,536 is place. Okay, so if I have a one year in hexadecimal, it's actually 65,536. <laughs> so, now this is where it gets really interesting. If I try to follow this notation here, the digits are going to be from 0 to 16 minus 1. Right, just generalizing the rule that we had before, which is going to be 15. So the digits here are going to be from 0 to 15 inclusive. So before, when we hit 10 in base 10, we regroup and go to the next slot. So for base 16 though, I could theoretically have 15 in the ones place because it's not until 16 that we group regroup and go to the next space. So it's kind of hard to picture because we're so used to base um, base 10. So it's interesting to see like how could there be a 15 in the ones place? It's all like smushed together. So one way to help us visualize it is instead of writing 15, our sort of system is um, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then 10 is actually A, B would be 11, C is 12, D is 13, E is 14, and F is 15. Of a G because once we hit 16, we move to the next spot. So now we just introduce letters to represent our sort of two digit things that are less than 16 so that we can kind of not get confused when we write it out. So now we introduce letters. Okay, so the digits here are going to be from 0 to 9 and or letters A through F. So that's why if you actually, if you've seen this before, if you've seen hexadecimal, you'll see a combination of numbers and letters, possibly. So just for fun, just for fun, just for fun, let's calculate the value. 
value of something from hexadecimal to base 10, so our regular um, counting numbers, okay? So we're going to go the other way around before I said what was 101 in base 10 to binary. Now let's go from hexadecimal to base 10. Anyways, 
here's a little introduction to the idea of bases and changing bases. This seems like it'll lend well to some sleepy, 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 slow calculation videos, maybe some no talking ones, but I wanted to kind of go through this together to make sure we are on the same page. Sorry for uh, so 